How are they going to fix the lobbies? When is the next killer going to drop? And what did you think about this apology? We break down the latest TCM community check-in right now. Now we're going to come to the part you guys have been waiting for, the TCM community check-in. They sat down. Now, the first thing I noticed in the TCM community check-in, we were missing someone. <laughs> Wes was mysteriously gone. Did they address why he wasn't there? I think it was because he was sick. Wes is out sick today. I, mean, I know, but it was a tough look. It was timing. a tough <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they, they had to do it with or without him today. We all knew this needed to happen, which props to them for doing it. Because, again, we said, like, on Reddit, dude, there's tons of heat. Not even just Reddit, everywhere. People were crushing the game over this last update. Yeah, I think it's it's culminated, right? Like, there's this 90 days of content that isn't happening, really. Well, somewhat. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. There's the new uh, Virginia, but the bugged skills. There's so many bugs I've seen. The Leatherface bug that popped up where you can't, like, the door slam now works differently. And he, we're going to get into that because that is interesting what he said about it. Just the fact that we had this 90 days of content, and they were very specific. When we were going to get that within 90 days and we didn't receive you know roughly half of it maybe you know 25 percent of it we'll say we'll give them that yeah i think so people are annoyed and then the content they did give us resulted in a lot of bugs so the community is uh riled up we'll say so like we said Wes was gone he wasn't there for the check-in but matt was there to give us all the details i will say props to him because dude he's he's facing the firing squad right now I feel like Matt doesn't have a problem doing that, though. No, nah, dude. <laughs> his, his, his apology. That was that actually had me laughing. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Well, yeah. here, guys, this part right here. On behalf of the, all the community, can you apologize for everything your community is going through with your game? We never heard sorry. I'm not sure what there is that needs to be apologized for, but if you feel that an apology is needed, absolutely, I'll say it. I'm sorry that you're going through things. <laughs> I'm sorry that you're going through things. <laughs> <laughs> I did like it though, because I I'm kind of with him. It's kind of goes both ways where I'm like he doesn't really need to apologize, but the one thing that does need an apology is that 90 days of content. I don't think an apology though. Apology is a weird thing to ask for. But just yeah, an, right. an admission of like, hey, we screwed up. That's one thing I did not like is the way they addressed the 90 days of content. The 90 days was more of a thought. It was more of an idea of a 90 concept. days. concept. Yeah. <laughs> which, which I would ask them, why did you say 90 days? <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately. I'm not going to hammer you too hard, but come on. Like, that's on you. Yeah, they, they messed this one up. The 90 days was a mistake. We didn't really set the 90 day thing out with like a hard exact day. Like the 18th is when this is up. Everything we're about to say, uh, you will be able to experience in 90 days or less. Museum mode, yeah. Uh, so that's a new mode that's coming um, in the next 90 days. Yeah. Within the next 90 days. Correct. These things are spread throughout. I did want you to know that there's a new a new victim and a new family member, and you're gonna get to play both uh, in the next 90 days or less. If you know how to do math and can read a calendar, you, you kinda got a, be a basic idea of what were the time frame that you're gonna be able to experience these things. Yeah, my perception of the 90 days was like, at the end of the 90 days, you'll have all this content for sure. Right, and, and I get that they, I understand that they weren't able to deliver. I don't even care that much, that's fine. I get it, they're going through a lot. But don't act like it wasn't supposed to be within 90 days. It was supposed to be within It was supposed to be in the yeah. 90 days. The 90 days was a mistake. So well, he wanted to make it a key point to emphasize that like the content's still coming. They're not dropping content on the game. They still are planned out through the rest of the year. They just said this content was not ready to be put out. Now, obviously, we're running up to that 90 days, and some of that content that we talked about, namely the new family member, that stuff is obviously going to slip from that 90-day timeline. We're holding it until we can get it to a point that we feel confident and comfortable with. First thing that he hit on hard, are they going to fix the lobbies? What's their plan? Have they finally figured out what is wrong with the lobbies? No, they have not. <laughs> <laughs> That's the quick answer is they definitely have not figured it out. The number one issue with lobbies is players dodging. You know, if we can eliminate most of the lobby dodging issues, um, we can then start to really see what might be happening with matchmaking. But it's awfully difficult when people won't stay put. They have not figured out anything, at least as far as I've seen or they've said. They're having a hard time figuring out the backfilling issue because so many people are dodging lobbies. So what that 
He's basically saying they still don't know why they're having an issue backfilling. So this is the biggest thing that I caught from this whole thing. Like they used to talk about lobby dodging, but they were very soft about it. Like they don't want to penalize. It's not, I mean, it's kind of like a problem that maybe won't be too much of a problem in the future. Like very optimistic about the lobby dodging. Yeah, very soft hands. Like, hey guys, we'll see. You know, maybe we'll incentivize you not to leave, you know? Right. That's not the case. I think you're going to see some penalties. So what he did say is the number one problem is people dodging lobbies. Mm-hmm. Which they, they didn't say that before. We all know that to be true now. It's like, it's an epidemic. <laughs> yeah, you, I mean, seriously, you can't get into a lobby without multiple people leaving. No. Try it. So it's a cluster. Anyway, so the good thing is, though, and maybe some of you guys won't like this, but they are going to come down. They didn't say exactly how they're going to do it, but I would not be surprised to see penalties pretty soon. What that means and what that looks like, we'll have more news on that as we roll those things out. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about some patch cadence things coming up, but um, expect us to be making some changes in terms of how lobbies function on the side of lobby dodging, because we really need to rein that in if we're gonna be able to diagnose what's going on. So it's just frustrating that it's this deep into the game that now they decided the lobby dodging is a problem. I wanna know why this wasn't handled three months ago. Why didn't we just say, hey, dude, we don't know what's going on. They didn't know a long time ago. Just freaking start penalizing people. That'll solve one problem. Yeah, they just didn't want to do the penalties. It, I think they were afraid it would run off some of the player base or something. I don't know. Basically, they're working on lobbies. Dodgers are going to get penalized, probably. They're going to do something, definitely, without a doubt, to affect the dodging. The 90 days content, it's coming. We don't know when. Let's move on from the negative side, and let's talk about some upcoming stuff, because they actually did talk about some new patches, and they have a whole plan of how they're going to release patches for the future. Right. So April 30th, we have a new patch. Okay. So it's coming up. So mostly fixes, but they did say there's possibly a free cosmetic and there's supposed to be a family cosmetic. So I imagine it's a free family cosmetic. So this is their new plan. Every two weeks, they want to release a patch, a patch to the game. Yeah, you know, I knew that and I just didn't want to say anything. So when you told me that, I'm like, oh, yeah, that's neat, man. <laughs> like, what do I say? Because I know what you're coming back with. No, dude, that's like what I'm really excited about, dude. If they have bi weekly patches and, when, and they said it's going to be a combination of patch and like cosmetic or something, we're aiming for a patch every two weeks from here out. So we'll have a patch April 30th and we're aiming to have another patch two weeks following that and two weeks following that and on and on and on. Uh, some of those will be mainly content with some fixes, and some of those will be mainly fixes with some content. Um, the way that'll probably most often work is going to be patch A is, for instance, the April 30th patch is mainly fixes with one cosmetic content. The patch two weeks later will be mainly content with a couple of fixes. Dude, I that makes me so excited for the game because that gets just drives interest. You know, you know how it is. Like when there's yeah. new updates, dude, just on the channel, we see it. More people come to watch it. More people want to know. More people want to play. The game will do well. I mean, it, they need to implement the system of where you're unlocking as you play. They, they got to get the grind in. They talked about upping the player cap, but that's, again, it's just talks. There's no... Time frame. I don't know why. Actually, I do think I know why. I think they're trying to make the leveling system obviously like as you level up, you unlock more stuff. Yeah, and and I think I think honestly, as a community, we need to just adjust our expectations, right? Like we just can't expect to get a bunch of new changes coming. I wouldn't say don't even expect any rule changes for a while. <laughs> I mean, because then if your expectations are low. You're not going to be disappointed, <laughs> right? I mean, that's one way to it. I do, mean, do you really think meaningful changes will come to the game anytime soon? Oh, no. I'd be surprised if we see anything with the lobby dodging even within a month. He also talked about perk, a perk patch because they've teased this for a long time of doing a massive overhaul of perks. That's not coming anytime soon. I don't, I wouldn't even think that's probably more towards the end of the year. The last major topic, which actually, to be honest, I think is one of the most interesting is the Leatherface update. We're looking at ways we can kind of give Leatherface a little bit more of an imposing kind of um, personality in the match and be a little bit more of a threat and a little more resilient to stuns and things. Where that all lands, we don't quite know for sure yet. So again, like I said, what you're seeing in game right now is by no means permanent or in no means the, uh, you know, what is eventually gonna make it into the game.
Now, uh, many of you know when they launched Virginia, it there was a bug with Leatherface where he couldn't be door slammed. And I thought it was kind of weird. But listening to Matt talk, it makes a little more sense. So what happened is there's some build of Leatherface that they're working on. I don't know how this happens, but it got a future build got into the update. I'll tell you why. AI, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Leatherface has gone sentient. <laughs> <laughs> to me, they're playing around with not letting him be stunned in certain situations. Yeah, I mean, that's what they, he said, right? They're trying to improve him. They want Leatherface to be more menacing and scary. And they want him to have, be more powerful, I think he said, right? Right, which they've already kind of done with the barrier destruction, the quick start. So they're making him already that way, but they really want him to be dominant. Dude, I love it. I absolutely love it because I want people to play with Leatherface because that's that's what the whole movie's based around, right? This scary monster dude with a chainsaw, which is freaking weird now that I'm saying it, but that is what <laughs> it is. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, I want him to be powerful. I want when Leatherface comes around me, I want to be scared, which I already am. So this is going to be even scarier. Where are you at with the game now? Because before this, I'll tell you, I was in a dark spot. Because I was getting very frustrated. Some of you guys probably saw that in the gameplay. I was getting very annoyed with having to wait in the lobbies to where I didn't, I honestly didn't want to jump into the game because I'm like, dude, it's frustrating to even like sit there and wait, especially when you're on time constraints. But after listening to this, I'm still happy with the way the game's going. I just think we have to remember to be patient. Was your question how did you ask yourself how you felt or did so, you ask me how on to the I next felt? Clip. <laughs> I'm similar to you. I would say I was. I mean, I don't know. I, this doesn't make me feel great because I don't like the the lobby. Not I was hoping they'd have some type of an answer of like what really is going on. They don't know what's going on with the lobby. Again, I do like that they're going to fix the dodging problem, but I would have liked again here. Are we talking about you're going to be start giving people time out, like a little time out if they dodge it so many times? What's like the ideas you guys are throwing around, that kind of stuff. Other than that part, I am, I mean, I'm excited. There's a lot of good content coming. I mean, that museum mode should be good. There is a family member coming on the way. It's more of like you kind of said, I just have to realize nothing's going to be coming right away. It's going to take some time. Oh, oh, oh.